<laughs> Oliver, what's up, dude? He's the guy that's gonna get that new pond, which is gonna be just awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have a 13 foot by 15 foot area. We're gonna take some extra soil, put it over on this side. Stone material down here on the bottom. Thankfully, though, we got the bigger machine, so we are able to break through it. It is a little bit slow, but it's happening. Hey, what's up everybody? Ed the Pond Professor here. I am back in Fort Lauderdale and we are at Blake's Exotic Ranch. So we've done several projects for Blake over the years and we are back for the next one and this one is gonna be insane. Just with Blake over at Aquashella. Yeah. There's Blake. <laughs> now we are here. We're gonna be making Oliver's Giant Pond. Awesome, I'm totally looking forward to this. We've done some awesome projects here, but this one's gonna be over the top. Yeah, this is gonna be something this off the chain. Insane. This, is, this is gonna be really zoo <laughs> stuff now. Absolutely. All right, Blake, so this is our spot. We wanna have a viewing panel, so that's the number one thing, right? Nobody knows that, but that's gonna be the number one thing, a viewing number panel. Number one thing. Outdoor which, viewing panel. It's gonna be incredible. So the See otter, yeah. watching him swim up and down inside of that thing, it's just the gonna The zoos be have it, the ranch has to have it. Absolutely. So I think we have a good plan for that. So it's gonna be a panel coming in here. We're gonna dig this area out so it's almost like a lower area so you actually walk down to it and okay. the nice thing about that is when you walk up to it you're gonna be looking right, right, at the in, right inside I'll probably it. make this like a shade spot here and then maybe yep. like a little bench as well it'd be perfect and just sit right there and enjoy the whole thing so the area that we dig down we could actually build benches into that little sunken area yeah, make like a little awesome. seat wall or something like that yeah, exactly then from here we have all the way to the fence correct and then right over here where the little deer is at come across and then we're gonna go this way. So one of the things I think that we have to think about is we're gonna have to have a wetland filter. Yes, 100%. We want it to be pristine. Yeah. So we want really good water quality. So a wetland filter in that corner, maybe a waterfall coming yeah. out, big pond area here in the middle, and then a waterfall kind of coming out and then transitioning the down intake. to the intake area. I think you're gonna have to probably do these two the wall, walls. And I'm gonna have to get a lot of giant logs. <laughs> yes. Again, I'll get those logs, that's not a problem. And we're gonna do yep. a different type of rock we we're talking about instead of the normal rock we use. Yeah. So whatever is like kind of affordable, but yep different i have a great source in tennessee they have okay. some incredible moss moss rocks and stuff like that Sounds i think good. it would look awesome in this pot anything that's different to make it pop more i'm, I'm, there. I'm down <laughs> Oliver, what's up, dude? <laughs> He's pretty much about full grown. Hi. We're gonna tie bigger. He's gonna be a year in October. Hey, Oliver. So that. He's the guy that's gonna get that new pond, which is gonna be just awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> 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 Oliver. <laughs> Trumpeters in here, some of the Tarokos that are inside of here from Africa and the different types of uh, waterfowl. And plus probably around 30 turtles in here. And you were saying that since this was built, wood turtles started laying eggs. Started laying eggs and I've been finding babies everywhere. That's I collected crazy. over 20 eggs and I've been finding babies. Every time it rains, they pop up. <laughs> that is nuts. But I made the enclosure with everything very, very small mesh. I don't think a leaf, so yeah, stay in perfectly. That's perfect. All right, 
right, we are getting ready to start excavation on the main pond for Oliver. We marked some things out. What I want to point out is we have a couple of these flags located here. Those flags are going to locate the area for the precast concrete panel, which is going to have the viewing window. We picked out some big slabs of stone for seating areas, as well as steps going down inside of this little seating area. A couple challenges we have. We obviously have the gate over here existing berm from the old pond we did this tree is now kind of taken over and then he has this little wooden structure here for his aquaponic type system which may end up getting changed so this is a big cat 308 we have to bring that in between this area once this excavation is done we want to make sure that we can get that machine back out of here when we're done at the end of this week and then back in once everybody's back on site for our construction project so a few things that we have to think about we are going to start out right away by attaching some metal panels like we did over in the aviary pond to hold all that soil up because we're going to be generating a lot of soil now what tony's doing right now he's got a big chunk of old concrete pulling that out of the bottom then what we're going to do is you can see the orange mark i have over here this is the sunken seating area the viewing panel is right here in between in this little narrow section and then it opens up into the pond on the other side this is going to be about 18 to 24 inches deep the other side is going to be a little over four feet deep because that's going to be our wetland filtration system located on the bottom of the pond it's going to force all that water from the bottom up and then it's going to overflow out to a waterfall located right over in here somewhere excavation so far is going pretty well starting to get a little bit hard down there in the bottom you guys are doing those metal panels the galvanized metal panels over on the back section Starting to get down into that really hard stone material down here in the bottom. Thankfully though, we got the bigger machine, so we are able to break through it. It is a little bit slow, but it's happening. You could also see we're starting to get groundwater. So both things that I thought were gonna happen are happening. This deep section over here that was cut into that bedrock is gonna be for our centipede and snorkel system. So you've seen us use this many, many times before. That long distribution system on the bottom, we're gonna have a clean out located in the one corner. This is gonna discharge high velocity water down into the bottom, percolate up through all of the aqua blocks. There's gonna be a layer of small aqua blocks in here, and then we're gonna have river rock on top of that. So this can be a huge upflow filter. Right now, finished cleaning everything. We're gonna come over all of this with our heavy duty underlayment fabric. So that's gonna create the necessary padding because this is all bedrock. So it's a hard, hard surface. So what we need to do is protect the rubber membrane. So we're gonna cover everything up with a layer of that heavy soft felt, the rubber liner. Then on top of that is another layer of that underlayment fabric to create a really nice soft barrier as well as a barrier that's safe from all the animals that are going to be digging so my next step right now once we're done shuffling the soil is going to be to mark out the area for our underground reservoir so this is going to be our pump vault over on this side so that we have to dig out an area approximately 12 and a half feet by 14 feet then we're going to have a waterfall that is going to connect the two together because this is going to be located at this current elevation so this is kind of funky when you think about all the different elevations we have here this took many years for me to learn these different things but we have to think and see things three-dimensionally so when i'm looking at this i'm thinking this is all built up basically almost to the top of these metal panels over here so we have to build a watertight pond inside of that full of all the stonework and then a waterfall is going to be cascading out right in this area down towards this current level we're going to take more of this soil continue building up all the way around this edge to get to that proper elevation because remember the soil on the outside perimeter is going to hold the rubber liner vertically and that's going to hold the water in place so we're always thinking of that water level whenever we're doing our designs we are going to dig out our 1500 gallon reservoir which is going to store all that water that's going to be in transit from the filters and waterfalls and everything up, up above we have to be able to accommodate for that going down grade we're going to take some extra the soil put it over on this side we also have to continue building up soil back over in here as well but i don't want to have a vertical wall at this point because we need some of those stones in place first 
So we'll probably just end up staging some of the soil back over in the edges until we can get some of the rocks in place. And we can start backfilling our way up and out of the pond.